that she's iconic. I would argue it's one of the most recognizable designs in all of cinema. Oh my God. The first bad guys you really meet in the entire saga starting with the new hope. The moment I remember most is them blasting into the blockade runner, just wiping out the rebel fleet troopers that are there. They were terrifying, but also super cool, super clean. Ralph McCoy is the grand master of concept design. I mean, he worked so closely with George, and he distilled down the essence of what George wanted, which is to create an image that was frightening. And I loved what he did with the helmet, because he basically turned into a very stylized skull. They look like skeletons. They look like death. <laughs> Design Stormtrooper, he was thinking that this would be a zero G outfit that you could take out in space. And we never really saw that until we saw the Time Pilot. Meaning that the front two post connections were actually used. And so you actually started to connect all those design elements to realize that, oh, the Stormtroopers actually had multiple purposes. And the idea that stormtroopers would actually custom fit their armor to the environment is just a brilliant solution. The scout troopers from the Jedi had to be more flexible and more mobile to find around these environments. So it, it makes sense that there was more soft material. The biker scouts don't wear camouflage. They should, but they don't. The Emperor doesn't even care if they get shot. It's showing arrogance, which inspires fear. And what I liked is the new take on the helmet, but it still kept the idea of a very terrifying mask, but instead of a down frown mouth, it now became an open mouth scream. Rogue One was unique in the sense that it was going to interpret the image of the original trilogy. a new class of stormtrooper, which were the Death Troopers. The elite of the elite of stormtroopers. Tall, lean, and powerful, fast. And some of the power was in the proportions, but it was also in the details. So for instance, with the Vichy bombs, they made them longer, so they almost look like tanks. And we were exploring some other ideas for creating stormtroopers specific to different environments. approaching the short trooper, we thought, how about if we create these very specific storm troopers that fit on Scarif? Troopers! And at the end, the final design of the short trooper is a blend. There's a little bit of scout trooper. There's a little bit of classic storm trooper in there. And there's a the little bit of color, which you take from the clone troopers. Master Yoda, all forward positions are advancing. George wanted to connect the general fit Mandalorian helmet with the classic Stormtrooper design. The clone trooper was actually going to be the bridge between the two. And what George and I tried to do with Clone Wars was bring a sense of individuality to these clone troopers. They started painting our armor uniquely and they started to take on different attitudes and personalities. Empire takes over then, you take that wash of color and icons and logos on the helmet so you completely strip it away without the classic stormtrooper. Working on Rebels, we had the classic stormtrooper. We just tweaked the armor a tiny bit to move it a little more back to Ralph Corey's look. Trying to honor it and tell a story in a classic sense. We had the classic stormtrooper. We just tweaked the armor a tiny bit to move it a little more back to Ralph Corey's look. Trying to honor it and tell a story in a classic sense. The design for the first war of was 
an interesting challenge. The idea was to ask, how do you take the spirit of what the Stormtrooper was and feel like there was an evolution within the timeline of the world? And if you think about it, the Cold Troopers were, let's say, in our timeline, 1920s and 1930s at the time. The classic Troopers were probably 1970s. And so the First Order then perhaps could be contemporary. First Order Troopers have new upgraded materials. Aesthetically, we also want a little bit more streamlined. FN2I7. Submit to a blaster for inspection. Yes, Captain. Captain Fast was one of my favorite designs. The only thing we did was just change her surface material and made it chrome. They put the helmets on me, and I looked in the mirror. I just giggled quite a lot. It was great that they had not feminized the armor. She can be in this position and be female. Yeah. In Rise of Skywalker, we have new troopers that are completely different from design. The materials, the color, the lines, there was something about the aesthetic of it that was just felt absolutely right. I cannot wait for people to see the work they're watching.